Yeah, so uh, we had uh, three orientations. The first one was for all the master students. Sorry, the first one was for all the incoming students. So it may be masters, undergrad, PhD, so on and so forth. Uh, it was it was more about Georgia Tech as a school, uh, Atlanta as a city, and uh, getting used to it and stuff like that. It was it was uh, like a fifty thousand feet overview of what Georgia Tech and life in Georgia Tech is. Uh, the second was uh, master specific, so they talked about uh, F one students. They talked about J one students, like the exchange program students, and how what is going to be the curriculum and stuff like that. What is expected because there are different uh, options within masters. Whether it can be course, it can be thesis and stuff like that. So that was the second orientation. And the third orientation was specific to computer science, so it was hosted by the College of Computing, which is the school which is responsible for uh, the computer science program. So I would say, uh, by if I were to give a, an estimate, predominantly about eighty percent would be Asians, eighty to eighty-five percent. 10% would be Americans and the rest would be either from Europe or Middle East. Uh, so for me, every vacation may be for two days, uh, may be the short weekends, like four day vacation. It may be in the fall or summer. I ensured that I went outside to meet my friends across, across the different states in the US. Uh, apart from that, I would say the first semester, the fall semester, I hardly got uh, time to take care of myself. And that was partly because of my uh, personal choice that I took up courses which were tough. I took up things which were a time sink as a result why I could not devote time to other activities. And after understanding how Georgia Tech works, how the courses are shaped, I, I, in the second semester, which was the last semester spring, I was able to balance it out well to, you know, to not have, uh, to, to have free time for myself to do other activities. So it's, it's, it's a balancing act. Computer science is, is, is such a field that is neither too specific and neither too generic. Uh, and the reason why I say that is because there are courses offered in Georgia Tech which are specific, say for example, cybersecurity masters or masters in analytics. And I find them to be too specific. And then there are simple uh, com computer science engineering, CSE, or uh, just, you know, uh, doing masters in, in some too generic of a field. So, CS Computer Science is, I think, at the right spot that allows you to select courses that you want to do your uh, to to do your career uh, uh, pursue in your career for. At the same time, Georgia Tech allows you to select one particular specialization. So even if you are doing machine, uh, even if you are doing computer science, out of the ten courses that you are supposed to do, six of them will be specific to the specialization. So out of the 10 courses, six of them I will be doing will, will be related to machine learning and the other four will be from any other field. For Georgia Tech, you have to take five mandatory courses and the rest of the five will be uh, electives, whichever you want to select. Within those five, two would be uh, uh, two would be between algorithms and machine learning, and the rest three can be anything within the realm of machine learning. Yes, you can take from other departments, but subject to availability. So, for example. Uh, it's generally the computer science courses which are in super super high demand so if uh, that's why when you are in computer science you generally get the preference to select courses from computer science 
But if you're looking for courses outside computer science department, it generally does not have as much demand. So it's relatively easy to get the course that you want. Yeah, uh, on a side note, to be honest, despite the massive change that Indian students face, uh, and especially the non-IIT Indian students, because IITs do have practicality in, embedded in it, so despite the change, most of us do have a very respectable GPA. So anything above 3.75 and roundabout that figure is, is considered to be good. You don't need to be a 4 out of 4. Uh, but having said that, the way we all adjust to is simply by ensuring that doing it on a timely manner uh, is, is, a, is a very stressed over point by all the professors. Mm -hmm.